Okay, welcome back. Two more plugins to go. WP Shorties and yet another related post. I'm actually going to do them in slightly in reverse order because yet another re related post has a settings page, as you can see there. But I never touch it. So basically I just use its defaults and it comes up with some quite good things, so I'm happy to let it go that way. But uh, WP Shorties puts its own soft warp thing in because that's the name of the people that do it and that brings you across to that. What you can do is paste a URL into there and I'll find one to paste. Okay I've got one copied and once you click away from that field it'll give you a really ugly shorter URL so change that to something better and click save. I'll move the screen across slightly. Please configure the option it's saying there. OK, so that means I need to go on to options. I've forgotten about that. And basically, even though it's given you defaults, it doesn't put them in by default. So save the changes. Back to the main page. It's now configured. And if I click on that, copy link location. I've just pasted that into um, Notepad so you can see what it does. But that will, if you want to uh, use it in your post, I find the easiest way is to right click and copy link location. I'm in Firefox, Internet Explorer has something similar. You can then click it just to check it goes to the right place. It's going off to my website, so yes. And what will happen now if I move the screen across and press refresh, it'll show that's been clicked once and the logs option will also show that's been clicked once. It will show which IP address clicked it, that's my current IP address. So you can get a little bit of data there, it'll show you the date, date and time it was clicked. So if you're one of these control freaks that likes going and checking logs all the time, you've got them with this. But the main reason for it is it keeps your links nice, neat and tidy. And it means that if someone's clicking on, for instance, a, an affiliate link or something like that, that you, you want to disguise, or you just want to take them off to an Amazon link, which is long and stupidly ugly, then you put the long URL in there and give it something meaningful as a name and then you, you've just got an easy way to show it. So that's all the plugins I normally do. What we'll do in the next video is just show you how Yoast works in practice on a post and a page and the last couple of settings that once you've got a post and a page set up. So we'll start looking at that in the next video.